it's the hardest thing I've ever done. It's physically draining, it's emotionally draining, and it's mentally draining, but it's also the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Uh, this is kind of what rowing this year has been all about. This is like spring season is the reason we, the reason we erred, the reason we ran, the reason we left, lift, lifted weights. So uh, make, make your best out of it. You get what you put into it. If you are crazy, if you like to bleed, if you like to feel exhausted and have no free time on your hands, join crew. But we wouldn't be able to recruit anybody, so I tend to just say, you know, it's hard work, but when you're done with it and you get through it, it was worth the effort, and, you know, from that point on, you believe you can do anything. Sometimes in the spring, when bo after boating season opens, there will be people out in boats that watch us, um, and sometimes they talk to us. We've definitely had, um, going down uh, through the locks area, people from houseboats catcall at us or like will yell things at us. It's kind of bizarre. Once there was like people in tuxedos or something, <laughs> I don't, I didn't see this, but the people swimming, people at Gasworks will wave at us. I think a lot of people don't really know what rowing is or realize that we're working as hard as we're working because it from the from the shore it looks really easy. Um, so they're just kind of like, hey, there's people out there. <laughs> I really like when we go out on the water at night. That's really beautiful. Like our team's kind of like a family and you don't really want to let any of the family members down. I mean, everyone's just kind of weird, but who isn't? And I guess <laughs> when you spend that much time with those people in such close quarters, like in a boat for two hours a day for an entire year, you get to know them pretty well. You consider them like your family? Definitely. <laughs>